Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. As many of you ask me how you can automate Canva design creation in NA10, I have decided to film this video and show you an alternative. Because to automate Canva in NA10, you would need an enterprise plan that gives you access to API of Canva. Fortunately, there's an app called Placid that will do just that. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Please watch the video, leave a like button, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment, I will get back to you. So let's get into it. So this is the Placid website. Um, as you can see, you can create all these kind of designs and they can be fully automated with your own texts, images, etc. Of course, it's a paid tool, but you can sign up for a free trail. I will have a link into the description so you can use that. Um, yeah, so you can create your own templates. They have many templates built in, so you can use those. All the data here is variable, so you can add texts, images, and etc. About the pricing, so for $19 a month, you get 500 credits. That means you get 500 generations. Canva has the same pricing, but here you have API access, so you can automate the process of creation of these assets. So I have my account here. Um, I've, cre I've created uh, three templates one for instagram one for pinterest and one for facebook and we're gonna have these into our na10 workflow so this is a basic na10 workflow that i created for this video i want to show you these two nodes these are the nodes that will generate the designs with your assets meaning with the text and images so this is a simple workflow as soon as I publish a post on my WordPress, uh, this webhook is triggered and this scenario sends uh, images and text that I want to placid. Uh, the design is generated and then saved on my Google Drive. So I will explain you how templates work and then we get into the code so you can understand how you can set this up and integrate into your own workflows. So if I go here, I'm just going to create a new template and I can choose from the pre-built templates or I can create a custom template in a custom size as well. I'm going to use a pre preset template here just for the sake of this video. So uh, let's choose this one. Let's click create. And basically this is very similar to Canva. So you can set your own fonts for texts. Uh, you can add overlays, uh, change the layer order, etc. cetera. Uh, this, you can sign up for Placid and test it yourself. But what is important here is that this text, for example, you can integrate this template into your workflow and you can use variable da data here. So uh, let's say we're gonna delete this. Um, I'm gonna delete this this if in my workflow I have a text that I want to have here so I will use this uh, title variable and if I want to change the image that I see here I will use this image variable uh, that's pretty convenient and pretty easy once you understand how this works so I won't save this let's remove this delete so this is the scenario let's go to my uh, sample wordpress and i have a, here a draft post uh, about porsche 911s uh, as you can see there are some images so i'm going to publish this post and see how the scenario will work let's publish it head to n8n so here it extracts the image file image urls from the code and then it sends to Placid. We just need to wait a couple of seconds until we can get the generation. Change the image to base64 to be uploaded onto Google Drive. Of course, you can um, implement it to be directly uh, posted on social media. But for the sake of this video, I just wanted to show you how this can be done. And I will explain also how to set these Placid these uh these placid nodes if i go now to my google drive i can see uh 
that designs have been created. So this one is for Facebook. Basically, it takes image from my blog post, takes the text uh, of the title and creates this on-brand visual or creates this visual for my social media. The same for Pinterest and also the same for Instagram as well. So we will search for HTTP node. We're going to make an HTTP request and it's going to be, uh, let's go to back to Placid and we can have um, API tokens. So here is REST API requests, how to make documentation. So basically we need to authorize with authorization bearer and our API key. So let's do the authentication now. Um, it's generic and it's going to be bearer auth. So select bearer auth. We're going to create new credential. Bearer token is our API key. So we paste it here and we click save. And we just created our um, authorization token here in NA10 and we need to get URL. So in the documentation under images, uh, we can see here, we need to make a post request to endpoint this. So we copy this. Oh yeah, and you can also create PDFs and videos also with Placid. Uh, so this is for the images, but the same um, applies to PDFs and images as well. So we're going to send body, uh, we're going to send JSON, and uh, we're going to be using JSON. And we can expand this so it's better for you to see. Let's head back to Placid documentation and here is a sample that you can use so we're going to copy this uh, go back to na10 and paste the json here so let's delete these unnecessarily things so we first we need to provide template ued that's uh, identification number so to get the template identification number we go here in the, sorry we go to templates just click on edit the template you have created copy the template code from url and just replace this so the layers so here we have image and what we have if we go to our template we also have image here so if we want to replace this image we need to use the name that we have here so i'm going to change it to uh, replace image copy this and then and i and replace this image uh, to replace image and here we're going to have the url of the image that we will add to our design so the next thing that we need for our design to work is title so to change this i'm going to just change it so it's better for the video i replace title okay go back to an a10 just change this title to replace title and we have also another variable that we can change. So this is the subline. Uh, we're going to rename it uh, replace subline. Like this. So I'm just going to put my uh, website domain name. JSAutomates.com. And for now, we're going to leave it like that. And where does it go here? Let's uh, unlink these that I had before. And let's connect this code to the new one I just created. Uh, let's save. So I'm going to replace the image with Im image URL one here. And the title I'm going to use from my webhook response, and that is the title of the blog post.
let's put it here and the replace subline will be my website uh, name and let's execute this step so we need post sorry so let's execute it again and we have made the request yes uh, then we need to add a wait node let's say for 10 seconds because there need there has to be some time while uh, placid generates the new uh, image and then we just gonna add another http module uh, sorry node um, get uh, authentication um, is um, generic and we just set it up i think yes so let's uh, bearer auth and we have this bearer auth account too that we just created when we created the first http module we just need to get the url and the url we can get from placid retrieve an image we need to use method get and it's going to be this url with id at the end so uh, let me add this and we need to um, just execute this so we can uh, have the variable from this module let's wait it's done so now we can take the id from the wait uh, or id from here from the http request so let's pull this in here yes and let's execute the step and here we get the image url now i'm gonna execute the workflow head back to my wordpress and just publish this and it should start the scenario or workflow yeah now it has been sent to plus head and then after 10 seconds it will pull the request uh, to get the url of the created design so let's check the design here yes as you can see it replaced the image replaced the text and replaced the subline this is how you can automate your design template creation with different variables from your no code automations in na10 you only need two modules one is to send requests to placid and the other module is to retrieve the creation so if you find this video helpful leave a like as well uh, as i mentioned in the beginning you can ask me questions in the comment section if you need assistance in creating um, automations, just contact me. Uh, I have my details in the description. You can book a meeting with me, etc. And thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.